It's all today live from the couch. Okay, surprisingly simple solutions to everyday problems using everyday treats like beer and chips. And you thought they were just for drinking and eating. Who knew, right? I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. it is. Thursday. It's all about the boys, Beach Boys this time, and boy, were we just surfing seconds ago. <laughs> if they only knew what went on during the commercial it's break. It's the magic of TV. <laughs> well, summer is winding down, which means it's time to plan your Labor Day barbecues and picnics, but hopefully without the lukewarm drinks and those pesky bugs. And here with some simple tricks to help you celebrate, make it fun and hassle-free is Bruce Lubin, the author of Who Knew? 10,001 Easy Solutions to Everyday Problems, and I need a lot of uh, answers. Got 10, and then one for you, Alex. <laughs> well, first off, how long did it take you to come up with 10,001? Well, my wife and I have been working on these books for 20 years. Okay. So when you would see an idea, what you just would uh, jot it down on a... Jot it down and then try it out and see if it works and uh, find solutions. So uh, inspiration from just observations? Did people start writing uh, I was a publisher for years, and I always wanted a book that would solve problems, household problems, and there really wasn't one out there. So my wife and I decided to write our own. And, and here we are. People love that stuff. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All Let's right, so ice is nice. Yeah, I What's going it. on okay, with the Okay, so the worst thing, is the, 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 a literal buzzkill at your barbecue is if you have warm beer. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, hate if those that. mountains okay. aren't blue, don't so drink the, it. <laughs> exactly right. So what you want to do first is put some uh, water in it, cold water, and then pour some ice in it. Okay. 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 Now just put your hand in, you'll feel it's normal ice water. Right? Just... Yeah, okay, chilly, chilly. Okay, now watch the magic of putting some salt in here hmm. and stirring this around. And now you have salt water so you could maybe put some kind of aquatic yes, life in there. Exactly <laughs> right. It, this is an aquarium. Now feel how much colder it is Yes, already. it is. Right? So it's like a cold, cold I lake. was a little... I wasn't quite sure if I was going to feel a difference, but well, I absolutely do. You, you absolutely do. will. You so do. then you, what we're going to do, we're going to be drinking these in about five minutes because oh. these will be cold really? now. Because this okay. is now like a cold really? lake, right? You know how it's sometimes cold? The ice actually uh, 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 lets the temperature, brings the temperature down of what will freeze. Okay. So the water is going to chill in just a few minutes. So wow. there you go. Barbecue safety. Now this before, we, Thank you, before we move on, what are the ratios here? Ice water easy enough, but how much yeah, salt? You want to just put in a couple of cups, a couple of of salt, cups of salt. And then as you feel it, you'll see. If it's uh, if it's not cold enough, throw in a little bit more and off you go. And then the napkin to take off the uh, salt on yes. your... Yeah, yeah. that's after yes. Or the margaritas. Right? You can <laughs> exactly. Salt. You can okay, that. let's talk about cleaning okay. your grill. Great, great tips on cleaning your grill. Before you start grilling, what you want to do is take half an onion. Oh, oh, look at that. I just cracked that. Man. Super strength. strength. You want to put a little oil on it and take an onion and just... This is how you're going to hey. clean the grill beforehand. And the enzymes will absolutely take just about everything off and it'll impart your food with, with a, a little great bit taste. Of onion taste. Right? Like Pam, what kind of oil? What do you yeah, any oil? of those, any of those spray oils. Or, or olive oil spray. Olive oil. Okay, anything great. you got. And then afterwards, while the grill is still warm, you want to put some aluminum foil on, shiny side down. This will, everything will now bake that's stuck on it. So close the grill like that, let every, everything, you know, uh, uh, bake off. And then when you open the grill the next time, this is all you're going to do. Okay? It'll just fall and right that, off. It's just going to fall right off. Mm. Another great tip to keep your food really moist, your steaks, okay. open beer on the grill. Just like this. Oh, wait. And that's what you want to do. Close not your grill. Pouring, leave it, not, not pouring. Anything. Just leave it. It'll infuse it with flavor and it keeps it moist. You know, there's an article yesterday in the Times where they said use rubs instead of marinades, which absolutely is true. But what happens is you don't get a lot of moisture that way. So you always want to keep huh. an open beer. Yeah. One for the cook, one for the grill. That's, well, that's my ratio there. we keep water in the microwave. You know, that's we'll exactly right. Water that's true. Good point, John. Absolutely. Okay. okay, how do you keep your grill going? Well, here's the thing. You don't want to use a lot of uh, uh, lighter food because it's okay. sort of disgusting. Yes. Right? So yeah. what you want to do is put a little bit on and then throw some salt of uh, sugar on just sugar, like sugar. Because sugar will will actually has has fire starting properties. Put the, the sugar, sugar on before. Put the sugar on a little bit of this, boom, but only a tiny bit, and the sugar will actually keep the fire burning. What? And then, <laughs> who knew, John? Who knew? Right? <laughs> and I see chips. Is this just for added something? Or this, what the this? Chips are nice and greasy, and if the fire is starting to go out, or you want to restart it, if you throw some chips on, you can. If I had if I had a match right now and I lit this. All of these would catch on fire. Really? So it's a great way to start. And your now that's a Did nice charcoal, charcoal flare. Oh. There you go. Absolutely. Oh. There's a bonus for you. Now oh. I'm constantly staining myself with ketchup well, and mustard. Because you're a mess. But you're I'm good at you so, <laughs> You know him so well. He's a pig. <laughs> the worst. I've got a solution for not only ketchup and mm -hmm. mustard, but red wine. So 
Let's just pour, which is the worst stain of all. Hey, hey, be careful, be careful. Oh, gosh. There we no, go. no, okay. no. It's another night out. That's been in my It's another night out. There you go. We call this sunset. Here we are. It's happy hour. What you want to do is spread, spread a little peroxide and detergent. Now, Wait, can you see? Peroxide yes, and, and that'll detergent. Work on, that's all you want to do. If you can see already, Whoa. can you wow. see the stain has come out just like Whoa. that? Same with mustard and ketchup. Yep, absolutely. And then if you just put it in a little water, pardon me there, Alex. No, you're yeah. fine. Look at that. I'm fascinated. I'm right that over you. That stain, now with a little bit of work, this stain comes right out. Okay, hey. and it works. You know, what color fast. It's for color fast materials. My kids wear blue shirts, black shirts. We and, do this and you all the time. Use this. What are Absolutely. the ratios again? I was half just and half. Half, that. half and half. Yeah, okay. that's all you have to do. And look Gee. at that. And that's just with a tiny bit of work. If you have any left over, you want to put a, a half and half. A, a put a, a mix of baking soda and vinegar. And you know what? That's, that's not expensive either. That is not expensive, and yeah. you probably have it around the house. But already. I don't. I'm not sure that this is real wine. Uh, so. <laughs> okay. Well, now let's. While he does that, let's talk it about bugs. You know, you have it around that's your right. food. They're pesky. By the way, I approve of drinking in the morning. Yes. So you know, <laughs> uh, yes, bugs. There's simple ways to get rid of bugs, and you never want to put any of the sprays on yourself and right. your kids. A couple things you can do: some vanilla and water. Just spray, put a little bit of vanilla, you know. I just, thought they were attracted to sweet no, things. No, and not, not vanilla. Not vanilla. Not spray vanilla. it on your arms and boom, there will be no mosquitoes huh. at What's all. the ratio no again? Thing. I would say just a cap full to a small, you know, a cup of water. More vanilla than wa more no, water. No, a lot more water than, than vanilla. vanilla. Okay. Just a little, okay. like a cap full of vanilla to okay. about a cup of water. Okay. And, and that's it, about it. A couple of other things you can do. Put a uh, fabric does it, sheet. This does in, work. Absolutely. Okay. In your pockets. If you're a golfer or something like that where there's a lot of mosquitoes, this huh. will keep them away. What? Absolutely. What? And if you do get if you do get bitten, <laughs> all you need is toothpaste. A little bit of that. And you are done. Some ways to keep the bugs away from your barbecue is just put some mint or some basil on Dang. your table. Okay, and that will keep them away. Another thing you do is use a fan. That yeah. keeps them away too. There's tons we have of used ways. that. That works. I didn't know that bugs did not like static cling. Oh, okay. and did not like static cling. I didn't. The, we tuck the whole them right yeah, there? the whole toothpaste thing. That's it's, great. Uh, so the book. Tell. Let's see now. Uh, Ten thousand and one tips. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Where do we get it? To you just... get it everywhere. It's by Telebrands. They have seen on TV people, which okay. means it's absolutely everywhere. So okay. every drugstore, every mass market, you know, uh, uh, big box retailer. Or you can uh, watch uh, this again on our <laughs> yes, website. Yes, absolutely. Bruce, thank great you so much. Tip. It's a thank pleasure. You very thank you much. so much. This was great. Good to see you.